Hello, everyone. Um, so today we're going to talk about LAB color. So the LAB color space is particularly useful for boosting color and definition in image due to the way that it handles colors when compared to RGB and CMYK mode that we normally use. So rather than describing how colors should appear on the screen or in print, LAB color is designed to approximate human vision. And the LAB color is mainly responsible for the ability to perceive depth and motion in a particular image, which is connected to the wear systems in our brain. So there are two main visual systems in our brain. The first one will be what system and the second will be wear system. So wear system is the way that allow us to understand the depth and motion. It carries information about motion, depth, spatial organization, and figure gram segregation. So um, this feature in the Photoshop can let us to see the equiluminant effect that our wear system cannot understand and cannot make any analysis out of it. So today I'm going to talk about how to apply LAB color to the image that you took from your phone or through your cameras and use the LAB mode to transform your image into an equiluminant image. So first of all, um, let's open an image to Photoshop and on the up like manual bar the image you can see the mode and in the mode part you can see there are lab color rgb color or cmyk color so you click on the lab color so on the lower right part of the photoshop you can see now the new channel become like the channel lightness channel a and channel b so channel lightning is the one that provide us like the darkness and the lightness of a particular image where allow our wear system in our brain to work to help us to perceive like the depth or the distance of certain object. So when we turn off the lightness and open the channel A and channel B, you can see right now everything like become like very ambiguous. So this is the part that Photoshop allow us to transform an image into equilumian color. So by checking of it, you can open your phone. If you have iPhone, you can open your camera and turn it to the normal chrome mode. You can see like compare the luminance level for each, each color will be very, very close to each other. So right now you get an equilumian color already. So right now, if you want to like start to manipulate the depth or the brightness of this equiluminant image, um, you can do by the following way. So take a screenshot of the equiluminant image that you just got from the LAB color and then open it up through Photoshop again. And then at this moment, on the top menu bar, you choose select. and then color range. You pick up the color that you want to change. So for example here, I pick up like the bright orange part. I want to change this part to make it more pop up um, compared to the entire image. Then you click OK. So you can see like the dash lines appear onto the image. So right now you go to the adjustment and you can open the level and by changing the level of the color you can change the depth of the particular color within this equilumian image so right now it's much more pop up than before and if you want to make it darker you can also do it So now let's go back to the image that we have before, here. 
So if you want to make adjustment due to like the original image, it's the same way. So you close up the lightness channel first and then click select color range. For my case, I will still like select the orange part first, click OK, but then you open it up the lightness again, you go to adjustment and then you go to level. So right now you can see you change the lightness level through the original image that you have. So when it's more dark, you feel like all the mountains are at the same level. But when you change it to like more bright, you can see like the different distance and depth from this mountain and this part of the mountain. But right now it's more flat. So try to use like different pictures um, and by using Photoshop to manipulate the brightness level as you want. So you can see like how the level of like different luminance can change the perception of depth or distance of the image. And you can know that when there is more luminance contrast, there will be like more three dimensional like feeling through the image. When there is less, and approach like equal luminance for each of like different elements of the image, then you will feel the image become very very ambiguous and everything start to like shaking and shimmering. That's that's because like our wear system doesn't work at that time at that moment. We cannot process the information that we receive from the image. So that's the. Lesson today for the Photoshop and thank you guys.